Hey everybody, it's Jimmy aka Beaver here and I am super excited today to introduce a new plant to you that you can use in your garden. Whether it's a native plant garden or a traditional garden, this plant is unbelievable. This is known as wild columbine. Um, Latin name is Aquilegia canadensis uh, and it actually has a couple of different common names. Wild columbine is what I know it by, uh, but I've also heard it referred to as Canada columbine uh, and a little bit more rare eastern red columbine. But regardless of the name, this plant is incredible. It is a very low maintenance plant. It um, basically self seeds very, very easily. It's got a very unique bloom. It's an early bloomer too. Uh, and it's fantastic for attracting bumblebees. And there's some real neat adaptations that other bees use to get to the sweet nectar in the columbine. So let's go take a look and talk a little bit more about it. All right, so wild columbine. To be honest, it is definitely most famous for its flower, as are most columbines. And columbine is actually a species of plant because it has such a neat flower that there are a lot of different cultivars out there. Uh, and they range in many, many different colors and different shapes and double blooms. And oh, it's really, really cool. And some actually are, um, you know, they've, uh, they've modified the foliage to have different appearance. So, there's a lot of different ways that they've genetically modified this plant. And the neat thing is though, there are a lot of different native species of this throughout Canada. In Ontario, this is the one species. Um, so also, like I said, known as Aquilegia canadensis. The flower is what makes it most famous. And I'll tell you, the different habitats this can grow, it's a great garden plant because um, it's very low maintenance and it gets this really beautiful uh, clumping appearance like they just the leaves just go crazy and then all these flowers shoot up from it uh, it's just awesome but the neat thing is that's in a garden I've seen this little tiny plant growing in the cracks of some of our limestone rocks uh, on the south side of the center I've also seen it growing in the side of a, you know, the Niagara escarpment, uh, you know, in a little pocket of soil on the side of a limestone cliff edge. So just such a cool plant. And what I love is uh, that it has a real, real sweet deposit of nectar. And when we go in here, um, they're deposited in what we call the nectaries. And the nectaries are those little swollen areas at the end of that flower spur. So. The flower's going to go back in that long red spur and right at the very end of those you can see the swelling that is referred to as the nectary and here's a neat thing on how insects can adapt their behavior so bumblebees and other long-tongued um, pollinators can get in there and they can suck the nectar right out of those nectaries from the bottom however short tongued bee species cannot do that they have to do it a different way and so the way they adapt their behavior is that they just get the nectar from the outside. They go up, they climb to the top of the spur, they bite a hole in the nectary and they suck out the nectar that way. So really, really cool plant. And again, remember I talked about before about some of the neat additional uh, elements of native plants and the fact that a lot of them are larval host species for uh, different butterflies, moths and insects. Well, this one happens to be the host species, uh, larval host species for the columbine dusky wing. So a real neat additional benefit. You can see those leaves are just so cool. And once it's flowered, uh, you're gonna get a little seed stalk like this right in front of us. It's kind of a neat little uh, appearance. Um, if you wanna keep those seeds, let that mature. But once you've collected enough, I just suggest cutting back the flower heads and then you just get to enjoy the foliage for the rest of the year, which is a, is a great additional benefit. Fantastic plant, um, grows about three feet uh, tall, including the, the height of the flowers coming up above the leaves. Um, but again, it does not go, it doesn't, uh, it's not too crazy. You can control it really easily. It self seeds very, very well. Uh, just a fantastic plant for beginner or advanced gardeners and a definitely a great addition to your garden. So if you're thinking about adding columbine, my suggestion is go native and help out some of our wild neighbors as well. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great one.